Inhale deep. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Now inhale, arms wide open. Hands up to the sky. Exhale, tilt your body to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, tilt your body to the left. Inhale, back to center. Tilt your body to the right. Now this time, grab your left wrist with your right hand. Now pull your left hand toward the right. So you will feel the stretch on the left side completely. And inhale, exhale for three more breaths. Just pull your left wrists. You're feeling that effect. Now also tilt, put, push your hips to the left. Get accentuated extension of the left side. Keep breathing. Last inhale, come back to center. Inhale, tall. Exhale to the left. Now grab your right wrist with your left hand. Just feeling the right side torso get stretched. Inhale, pull your right wrist. Exhale, dip down a little more. And inhale. And exhale, push your hips to the right. Enjoy this extension on the side body. Inhale back to center. Now put your hands down to the hips. Step your feet wide. So we do a very wide legged. And inhale, arms wide open. Exhale. Tilt your body to the right, extend your left arm, point your left fingertips to the right side of your room. You're really feeling the stretch. This time, it feels more stretch on the left outer hip, upper hip. Keep breathing. Exhale. Inhale once more, really point your left fingertips outward. Exhale. Next inhale, come back to center. Stretch both hands to the sky. Exhale, tilt your body to the left. Now point your right fingertips to the left. Feeling this stretch on your right torso. This time it comes from the right hip. And also the upper torso on the right side. You can extend your left hand to the Xing uh, Kong or the calf muscle below the knee or up the knee. So never put hand or um, any force on your knee area. Continue one more breath. Next inhale, come back to center. Hands down. Great. Come back. And now we do a bit of uh, uh, back stretching and involve shoulder stretching as well. So inhale. Exhale, eagle arms, right arm under left. Now lift your elbows toward the ceiling without changing your uh, standing straight. Inhale, lift your elbows toward the ceiling. You'll feel the expansion of your back. If this is too much, you can just hug yourself and let your hands to hug your shoulder blades. Now anywhere you are, it's fine. And now just fold forward, basically slightly. And feeling your upper back get expansion. Take one deep inhale. Exhale, fold forward even more. Just let your upper body drop. If you're in eagle arms or hugging your upper back, wherever you are, stay here for three more breaths. You'll feel the upper back get expansion. So there's space between your shoulder blades. 
and maybe your lower back also get expansion. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, relax into this pose. Next inhale, bend your knees and slowly round up. Very, very slowly. And once you're upright, and then lift your elbows toward the sky once more. Exhale, relax your arms, and then change sides. Left arm under the right. Inhale, just lift your elbows toward the ceiling. Take one more breath here. Exhale, just dip forward. So a minor stretch in the back. Deep inhale. Exhale, fold forward your entire upper torso. So your head going to the floor. Let's take three deep breaths here. Inhale fully. Feeling the expansion of your upper back. Exhale, relax into your Pose, relax your head and neck. Inhale again, feeling the expansion of your lower back. Relax. Inhale once more. Fully, fully, fully. And then exhale, fully relax. And next, inhale, slightly bend your knees. Slowly, slowly round up. Once your torso is upright, lift your elbows toward the sky once more. Exhale, relax your arms. Now roll your shoulders up and back three times. And then up and front three times. Very nice. So uh, we will do a bit of um, neck exercise. Inhale, straight crown toward the sky. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder. And now extend your left arm out. We'll take five breaths here. So the next three breaths, put your hand, right hand cupping your left ear and just gently using your right hand weight to stabilize and feeling a bit of a stretch. Next two breaths, push your ear, left ear with the right hand and the left ear toward right hand. So there is a constant pushing toward each other. This will strengthen the muscles around your left side of the neck. And feeling that strengthening. There should never be pain, but this will give you a strong neck. Now inhale, release, back to center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Extend your right arm out. Stay here. Next, inhale, cup your right ear with your left hand. Just use the weight of your left arm. Next, three breaths. Push your e right ear to left hand, the left hand to right ear, feeling your neck muscle on the right side. Get a fiery sensation. Keep breathing. The last breath without pushing, feeling the extension of the muscles on the right side of your neck. And inhale, push your head back to center, release your arms. Now do head rows. So small head rows first, one direction for three times. Very small, meaning like maybe only 30 to 50% of your roll. Now change direction to the other side. You might hear your neck cracking. Now when you finish three rounds each side, we do it again with 
slower, larger roll. So let your head go wherever it takes you. So it goes to the limit and do it so slowly that you can feel every degree of your neck. And maybe there's small sound of cracking and it's so slow, so deep. It might activate certain part of your muscles that you never had a feel for, a sensation. If you have neck issues, be careful when you roll your head back. And when you roll slowly, you probably will also feel part of your neck is tighter than the other parts. And then when you finish three rows one side, now go to the other side. It's so slow, it takes time. But when you do slower, you teach yourself to learn about your own body and also learn to be patient with your body. This is the beauty of yoga. It's not about the knowledge. It's less about the knowledge, more about the practice. Many times we know what we should do, but we don't do what we should do. Or we know what's good for us, but we don't practice what's good for us. So the key is to practice. And it's better to do small doses often than big doses rarely. When you finish all three rounds, come back to center. One more time, arms wide open, stretch to the ceiling. Exhale, hands in front of heart. That concludes today's practice. Thank you so much. Namaste.